The shooting death of a five year old in Colleen earlier this morning leaves neighbors in the area on high alert as Colleen PD continues to investigate. Box 44's Kendall Green was there on scene. He joins us now in the studio. Kendall, what have you learned about the shooting? Adam, both police and neighbors nearby say they believe the five year old shot himself by accident after getting his hands on a gun at home this morning. Police were called to the 4500 block of Allen Kent Drive around 1130 this morning to find a child just five years old unresponsive. EMS, along with all first responders on scene, worked to perform life-saving measures to no avail. The five-year-old was pronounced dead just after 12 this afternoon. One neighbor nearby says she saw all the commotion as first responders arrived on scene this morning just next door to her home. I heard ambulances everywhere and then I came outside and I looked over, I seen her, um, the lady who lost her son with blood covered all over her. It was like fresh blood everywhere and she was just screaming and crying. So I took her daughter for a little bit um, because nobody was with her. And then she was just saying that her son had shot himself. Casey Golson says she remembers distinctly this morning watching the five year old's mother crying inconsolably. She was crying. She was saying I was trying to cook and I was trying to clean and I was trying to get um, get ready for their homework. So you got a, a baby running around five years old. They get into everything. You know, I just hate that it happened because I could only imagine, I couldn't imagine losing a child, especially at five. While Golson says she's not quick to place the blame, other neighbors disagree. You, know, you have to be responsible at every hour of the day. And now that we're under these conditions and you have kids that are stuck at home, it's more important than ever for parents to know what their kids are doing. Officers with the Killeen Police Department were on scene for hours investigating, and while no actions have been taken, they share the importance of making sure weapons are inaccessible to your loved ones, especially children. I'll always keep them locked up. Always keep them uh, in a safe. Uh, train your children. All children can be trained. I mean, I've trained mine, they know, but I still keep them locked up. I hope that this is a wake-up call for, you know, everybody in the world, you know that when you have weapons, it doesn't matter what they are, that you need to keep them locked away, you know, and make sure that especially these kids aren't getting their hands on them. Now we asked Colleen police officers if any possible charges could be filed in the coming days. We'll show what they had to say about that coming up at 930. In the studio, I'm Kendall Green, Fox 44 News.